All Sarah Max must infiltrate the operation and become members of a toy mafia themselves. Wow. Just okay? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> okay is fine. There's nothing wrong with just okay. Uh, that, that was a great line. <laughs> it's funny how he gets shit for that. He just said okay. Anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's start it up. Same Max. <laughs> that that and looks like an like an E. Always does. I really like how the intro looks. That's really cool. That's all real time as well. In the meatball. Catch him! Hiya, Sam! Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! <sighs> I got it! I got it! Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. You can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city. The Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life, but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The shallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job Oops, sorry. is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, well, I never, then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! There we go, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think I've discovered the problem is my mic has, um, cause I have the, the fan on, the mic is picking up everything, which is kind of, kind of a bummer. I don't know how to fix that. Um, that's like a super bummer. See if we can fix that. Um, Echo, echo! From the fan. Well, well, what's happening is I've got a noise gate on, and the, uh, the fan is triggering the noise gate, so therefore, when the game is playing, it's still p it's picking up all the, uh, all the, uh, what's it called? All the gameplay. Yeah, like, the, uh... I don't know if that's any better. We, we need to, uh, make, uh, Sam talk. Hello? Jerk! It's still coming. It's still coming out. This is the uh, troubles a bit. I need a better microphone. It's probably the next investment I've got to make. Um, how do I fix this? <laughs> uh, there. Uh, I don't know if I'm cutting in and out. But... Hello. Yes. Yes? 
Holy mace-wielding Minotaur Kings! Who are you talking to? Nobody. Just practicing for next time. <laughs> so I'm, I'm talking now at my regular... It's coming, coming out. Hopefully that that's okay. If I'm cutting it now, then no. It's my talk is. But... Cutting it now, the speed is tinkering. But what about now? Is it okay now? A very disturbed individual. It's here. 95%. Okay, that, that's good. I think 95% good is the good, good thing. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Throwin. What's the I fought? Ah. Uh, wait, because you're on one like, like a delay. So it's hard to like tell. Jimmy Two Teeth. Fence. It's a sad day when hardworking rodents have to make their living Bye as now? a freestanding okay. form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's Fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers! What customers? It's, uh, we're, we're once over the, uh, the office, did we find anything? <laughs> I like how we just, like, collect everything. We've got the Hypno Bear, we've got everything. This charred pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Same. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Doesn't quite as anything anything new in here yet. Hello? Jerk! Jerk! The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era, specifically last July. Not seeing anything new in here. Let me sort all this out. Hopefully audio's okay now. Uh It's not when I say one word. Ooh. <laughs> I wish I could just like fix this for all situations all the time. Um Maybe I need to make the release like a bit like that. I don't know. May maybe that's better. I don't know. I hate audio. I like how they give us a different camera angle every time. Good boss goes first. A quick foot outbreak. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack. Son of God and Blue. Who is this Bosco? Hey guys, it's me, Bosco. No! <laughs> but you may call me Jean Francois Bandapart, the new A French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The Toy Mafia. They got it in for me. Take a number, guys. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing, yet. Ah, but I know what they are planning. And it is terrible! Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my store. Yeah. Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. Uh, but it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or well, my name is not Jean-Francois Bandepart. Not. But your name's <laughs> not Jean-Francois. They don't know that. 
What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a failsafe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tans. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? b -tans. Uh, also b -tans. <laughs> It is a b -tans part deux. Oh man, we got a lot of dialogue. How does b -tans part deux work? First is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stole. How completely impractical! If anything is placed in the stores that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Vive la France! So we can... Sounds like this is gonna be something. Uh, what do you have today? I wanna buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur! What do you got? Oh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. Oh, what? A device non pareil chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What to do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, Bosco. We'll take that miniature listening device. As the price is ten million yeah. dollars. <laughs> ten million? Wait, is that ten million in crazy fake French dollars or ten million in regular dollars? Regular dollar. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollar. Rude. Do you, you have people? any straight tufts of Sasquatch hair? No. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? No. Do you have any rubber uh, chickens with a boy in the middle? No. That, that's the uh, that's a classic uh, Lucas Lucas thought. Putting quick game. Perfect. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? No. Do you have any? No. How do you know what he was gonna? <laughs> no. Do you? No. <laughs> Nothing for us right now. Zip. Right. Uh, I forget who would tell the. Uh, Code word too, but I can't believe that's the freaking code. Does the carpet match the drapes? No, and you know why? Because the man does not want them to. <laughs> he is threatened by their potential unification. Mm hmm. Yeah, it doesn't quite uh, kind of work. Him. Look outside. It's the toy mafia. What? Where? Fools! There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu. I could do this all day, and I intend to. See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir. Jump can, hot weenies, anti delivery camera. The anti delivery camera. Sorry, I guess we can do something with it. We have, what do we have on? What I got? Foamy bread. Bathroom terror level. <laughs> Red. Extreme terror. Yellow. Lots of terror. Green. Probable terror. Perfect. Fudge machine. Whee! I don't quite there's anything. Diner. I want to go to Stink Diner. Well, I read the newspaper. The Alien Love Rectangle Post. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among Alien Love Polygon tabloids. Oh, they. Myra Stump shocks now. crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. Did it really? Alright, go, uh, Stibble. Now. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. 
This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great! We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? <laughs> what led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. What's your next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. Oh. <laughs> no, seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Yes, we should. We should. <laughs> uh, pro, pro that. Um, you can find my link between wealth game and I uh, went to my parents' place. Oh, nice. That really not suck. You bought another used copy? Well, problem solved. That game is worth like at least three per. Just saying. <laughs> um, we have to figure out who the uh, foreman is. So, does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. Okay, I'm I a trial think, witness I don't think now. she's the. Uh... Well. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness <laughs> for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. <laughs> we'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. Like, be dark in here. Can we have them? Please, I really want the ball. Can I play with that? No, it drives people crazy. Who? Me. Dang it. Is this the kind with aloe in the sheets for extra softness? Chloroform, actually. Some of my therapy patients used to get a little bad. <laughs> we can't keep it. Yeah. The closet door. Where the soda pop is that? It's getting late. Hey Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Oh. The the game is, is learning. Does it does it know? Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey. If I could scare up the Oh nice, Rowan. That's great. Like in uh, the Nintendo eShop, where if you buy games, you get what's the oh. Friendly reminder, you can actually redeem gold points for physical copies of games. They're like, new enough. Um, it, it's super cool. So there's like no point to shop at the eShop, unless it's cheaper. <laughs> posters. Have these posters changed? Did it? Oh, they, they've changed a little. Spin the Bottle Championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. <laughs> this place used to be Lefty. Good old Lefty. You couldn't stand Lefty. You were Exactly! Old same. Yeah, nothing good enough to be in the points of the Well, save up! They don't, um... I don't think they expire, do they? No idea where to go. Got to go to the car. Where are we going, Sam? Yep. Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Goody.
it's been it's growing. I, I don't I don't know how long it takes. Probably like a year or something. Isn't it? Why do we not creepy? Welcome, welcome, generous friends. Days and weeks and tokens to spend. We're just regular businessmen. Just you and me and Teddy Bear. Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. <laughs> that face. <laughs> My name's Lovey Bear. Aww. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here. Take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. <laughs> I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Ew. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. <laughs> First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Teddy Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anywheres. Come on, true. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that <laughs> secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy. Where's the scene? See that? It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the vig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. <laughs> We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said <laughs> like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Now we got, we got to do some game. Uh, and it. God. One armed bandit. A one armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bears. And be quite gamble. Gambling. You're on fire. Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction, we won! <laughs> yeah, we won, but there's no prize! You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it! What's the password? You may enter. Really, we have that listening device. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head. Cause a mistrial and win a souvenir magnet. <laughs> All right, let's go. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? Note, please supply your own firearm. We always do. <laughs> Insert token to play. Here we go. Oh, we got to keep our token, thanks. 
I guess it works better if you put tokens in it. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? Now have fun. How can we not? Oh, here we go. guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia <laughs> hitman. Look, there's the prize! As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. That sounds like that would be very easy. I, I can see where that would go. Hello there, freaky bearhead wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? <laughs> Just ask everyone. Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! Wanna play cards? Hmm. Alright, we wanna play cards. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town, but I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday, so you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit, Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, <laughs> what's the game, Steak Charmer? It's the truest test of skill point. there is. Indian poker. Alright. Uh, how do you play Indian poker? 10 million tokens sound very useful. How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think he got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. Play? We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy dog, because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? What should we do? Knowing this game, I feel like we just somehow win. It's hilarious. Sure, we'll bet a token. No, uh, we <laughs> lost. Sorry, brother. <laughs> you lose. Steak Chama wins. Mama was wrong. Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, to take a sturdy oak and right. staff. So really maybe I was missing something. Deal. All right. But, but the four. We had the four. Huh? Fold. What, no 10 million token bet? Nope. I just always know when I got the lower card. Call it my sixth sense. Or seventh, if you count my sense of humor. <laughs> we don't. Well, we're certainly never getting rich at this rate. I'm not seeing 
trying to see what what he's doing. If he knows he knows the fall. Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. How <laughs> <laughs> would be? But the magnet has something to do with it. Right? I'd rather keep it to myself. I'd rather keep it to myself. Hmm. A magnet wouldn't look good there. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy. Think nothing of the air. He, if he knows that he has a lower car, no, no way to like actually win that. I think we can't get in here. I doubt it. Don't ask. Hold it, mugs. Not mugs, Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh right, that would be what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. Let us in. Only Toy Mafia allowed in. Not that there's any Mafia here. Okay, we'd like to sign up <laughs> for the Toy Mafia, please. Talk to Chuckles. He's the head of Mafia admissions. Where's Chuckles? Right behind this door. This is what it would be like if Catch-22 had a meaner older brother. Look, I don't make the rules. I just blindly enforce them. We'll be back. Like I. So we need the winning device, obviously. Um. Uh, how, how do we? Okay, like his. I was looking at his eyes. Maybe maybe his eyes are like doing this or something. But then like he can't do anything. I don't know. I assume we have infinite tokens. Old sandwich. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. <laughs> We've got a back there now. Uh, maybe. I think I think I have an idea. We'll go to Bosco's. We'll mess with his camera. Are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you. Okay. Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. Let me get the good stuff. Um. Say, Max. I am not. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. No thanks, I brought my... What do we have here? Organ trader? Oh, let me see Hot that. Bunny? No, self-loving weekly. One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Hey. That's what I thought you would have done.
What can we buy for a handful of game tokens and some pocket lint? More pocket lint? No thanks. <laughs> Are you ch Bulletproof. Dang it. That would hardly be sporting. Hey. Ah. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Um, up on the sale table. I have nothing to say about that. No comment. Hmm. How often I, I get stuck at the very start? Worth of ah uh, yes, I'm doing all the same stuff. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava that was me, which is one. It's the uh, times on television thing. Look, Max, the Midtown Cowboys reruns. Better get the serious toothpaste. Turn it off. I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. What do you mean? The reception's perfect. I bought that VCR at the so so you still smell. Mm. Hubert's still clinging to life. Does it seem quiet in here to you? Oh, they're fumigating the building today. I forgot to tell you. Well, that explains it. What time is it? I'm happy to say I have no idea, and I'd rather keep it that way. I guess we should. Okay, I'll. Maybe it must be at the casino if that's the uh, the prompt. Yeah, that's what Max. He's mostly there to be hints. Must have like missed something. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy. Good Gotta figure out how to win the uh Welcome to Step Right Wonder if we get different uh different prizes. Let's play again. I think I have to get both of them maybe. Looks like they're all out of prices. Hmm. It's still fun though. But we only missed one and we got 21 last time. So that, we actually did it perfectly last time. Back for a Just a little more. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh yeah? What do I look like? You look more like a uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him! Not yet. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. <laughs> Look. I'm here to play poker. Are we gonna get this dog and bunny show on the road or what? Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a Christ. face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Ah. Uh, Maybe that will help? Deal. All right.
There seem to be only two cards. <laughs> betting all 10 million and you only got to bet one so you in or out too rich for my blood yep. did someone say blood what <laughs> i win again that one was for you mama deal all right We have to like replace oh, the cards or something. We'll never get rich at this rate. Yeah, we'll be there's back. No, there's no way Just to like, remember to bring your money. Ah, logic him. He always goes first as well. Hello, cuddly bear. Want to play cards? We're looking for someone who works here. Want to play cards? Sounds like someone played a game of 52 card pickup and lost. We want to play cards. Back for a little. Just a little more. That's enough for now. Okay. A common mistake. <laughs> Do something to him. Give me the. The password is swordfish. Nope. The password is Rosebud. Nope. The password is Password. Nope. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. I've come to Grandma's funeral? Nope. Who's on first? <laughs> nope. Who's your daddy? Nope. I am the walrus? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. The password is nope. Ooh, we'll be back. Like, ready? Uh. The magnet wouldn't look good there. The magnet wouldn't look good there. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? That's how you did it. Forget that. Yeah, I don't think it's that hard. Is that poker guy psychic or what? It's like he can see his own card. I'm sure he just cheats. I would. How do you win when the other guy cheats? Cheat better? Where should we go from here? I don't know. If all the gaudy lights and chicanery weren't distracting me, I'd say go to where we're least wanted. You mean that back room with the guard and the restricted access? Actually, I meant the kitchen, but your idea is good too. <laughs> Heard any good passwords lately? No, but then I probably haven't been listening in the right places. How do we how do we cheat? How do you win when the other cheat better? Let's wallow in kiss. I've got a couple of rat. You don't have the guts. On the contrary. If anything, we have <laughs> too many. Ooh. Holyoke, Massachusetts. Try that again, Mug, and we'll fill you with so many holes your little friend will be able to store his straw collection. Could you make them small enough to drain pasta? Because I think I just lost the colander. I'm just going to put this gun away and make it a point to never do that again. How's that sound? That worked well. Uh... I'd rather keep it to my. 
gotta be somewhere else to go then. We drive around aimlessly. Yeah. Been up any titillating scandal mags lately? No. Nothing useful in here. Any idea what your first? No, but it doesn't really matter. It's a flat fee system. We'll be bye, boys. Have you heard of magnetic therapy? Quackery. Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. What should I ask Sybil? Oh, I know. Ask her if she's ever killed a man. Why would I ask her that? Because asking if she's ever killed a woman sounds sexist? What do you think of Sybil's new job? I think it makes a mockery of our entire justice system. Cool. <laughs> I think I've had enough of you for... Okay, but be sure to stock up for later. Yeah. Thought I've really tough on this one. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep... I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and pain... The magnet wouldn't look good there. What am I missing? Tampering with the man as we found Where are we going Sam no place never mind it's, uh, The rat Like got a shop or something Jimmy Two Teeth, fence. Eat it. Jimmy Two Teeth, fence. It's a sad day when hardworking rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Feed it. You're getting in way of my customers. What customers? Hey, Jimmy, we're looking to buy. Oh, no. I ain't selling you nothing. You'll just come back for a refund and then drop me off a cliff or something. That's quite true. Hey, Jimmy, we're looking to sell. Oh, no, I don't want nothing that belongs to you. You'll decide you want it back, and then you'll throw me off a bridge or something. He's got a point. Put that away, Seamus. I don't fence bullets. No one's being helpful today. <laughs> I'm about a... I guess we should get back to him. Okay, I'll have a pocket. Two thousand two was a. I'm glad we. One of these days. I'm still work. Whee! We should have Jesse James. I bet it's a. When I got this thing, I thought. Where else would we? Anything. Not even talk about anything. A very disturbed individual sits here. Yeah. Takes me back. Bones. 
Bosco sure keeps a sharp eye on his store, doesn't he? You said it. This store and ludicrously convoluted conspiracy theories are the only things he really cares about. This new anti-delivery system of Bosco's is interesting. I feel the distinct urge to break it, but then I feel that about a lot of things. You don't have ten million bucks on you, do you, little buddy? Not today, but we could always hustle somebody for it if you want to. How much more inconvenient can this place get? It's not that inconvenient. Besides, I think anyone who wants to buy a blue sludgy should have to provide a urine test. I mean, what have they got to hide? It's always the cute and cuddly ones that go fascist the fastest. Bosco isn't really fooling anyone, is he? Nope. I knew he was French <laughs> all along. Huh. <sighs> Shall we shop? Let's do. Hey, Bosco. How does Betach Part Do work again? If anything is placed in the stores as the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Food. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Sacre. I'll be this way. way. We want to buy. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Give us that miniature list. Emilia. We'll be back if and when. No. See you later. I don't think that takes tokens. Alt, are you? Sludgies. This week's flavors: avocado de menthe and fudge pate de foie gras. Oh, good. For a second, I thought it was something disgusting. Sludgies. This week. Oh, good. You put a magnet in the microwave. I'd rather keep it to myself. Alt, are you trying to? Gotta do something to the camera. The ant. Alt. In. Up. Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. Big smokes. Don't smoke, kids. Unless you're on fire. Then it's only natural. Are those the same two weenies that were in there a month ago? I use the same two we- No thanks, I brought- Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Alt! Someone else delivers something? Hmm, are those? Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. How depressing. The magnet wouldn't look good there. The magnet wouldn't look good there. I once hid in that dump. I still don't know how she... One way. One way, down. Remind me. Hello. Yes. Who are you talking to? Nobody. Just. Magnet wouldn't look good there. Oh, Ace of Spades. I didn't even see that. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve and never hurts. There it is. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. 
That's annoying. We found it though. It only took an hour. <laughs> That's plenty quick, man. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy. Goody. <laughs> well, you know. Did you use an extra ace? All our decks have five aces already. Keeps the players happier. I'm sure he'd be happy, but I'm not sure I would. What do you do with this? Not like finite. I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. Nah, I don't want to ace that. Nah, I don't want to ace that. The magnet wouldn't look good there. Use the, use the pathfinding back for a little, just a little more. G All right. I'm betting all ten minutes. So you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Sorry. Stick Charmer wins. <laughs> that one was for you, Mama. Ah, we'll n Yeah. We'll be back. Just remember. Trying to like. How do you cheat better? I've got a. I ran to there. Nah, I don't want to ace that. Is it against the rules to bring your own cards? Sure, but everybody does it anyhow. Is it? I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. Could you use an extra ace? All our decks have five aces already. I'm sure he'd be happy. One sec, guys. Yeah. Alrighty. Um. Nah, I don't want The magnet wouldn't look good there. 